Hey guys, Dawnmaster here again. I wanted to do a little video I've never talked about. Uh, these Napa, oh my bad, not Napa, Craftsman impact sockets. So when Sears was closing down in my area, when I was uh, going to uh, college for a diesel mechanic several years ago, they had clearance on Craftsman tools before they were closing. I took advantage of that. I only spent like maybe a couple hundred bucks on stuff. I got a multimeter, uh, some impact sockets, some screwdrivers and stuff to get started to help save money so I didn't have to buy all tool truck stuff. And um, I got some stuff at Kmart also, but I wanted to talk about these. You can't get them anymore. Craftsman Evolve. Um, a lot of people don't talk about these. A lot of people don't talk about Craftsman tools much at all. Um, these are about 10 years old. They're Taiwan made. Double A Taiwan. 7 eighths half inch drive deep. Craftsman Evolve. I use these as a mechanic professionally for the last seven to eight years. No, wait. It's been going on eight to ten. I, I don't know exactly, but let's just say almost ten years. And they've held up very well. Um, I'm going to grab the complete set and we'll see some of the most worn ones. But um, this is seven eighths. As you can see, it's been used heavily, but it has the features of a professional socket. See that end there? Easy insert end. It's got the kind of the opti design or the wave drive design or the flank drive design with the little cutouts there so that way it puts pressure on the flats and not the corners. And I picked this set of sockets up. It goes all the way up to I think inch and a quarter for like $15 because they were on clearance because they were going out. It goes from like seven, it goes from like three eighths or seven sixteenths all the way up to one inch or one and a quarter or something for like under 20 bucks. It was cheap. And used them working on dump trucks, all sorts of stuff. And I never had to warranty one of them. Uh, using them on air mostly, air impact. And I think that Craftsman produces decent stuff. You just gotta fit gotta realize what you're getting their impact sockets now that they have are just as good but better in my opinion they're similar to these craftsman evolves they're made in taiwan they have a little bit nicer of a finish sorry i don't have one in front of me i, I don't own any of the new impact sockets from them but i've seen them in stores i've seen them on youtube videos cp the tool addicts talked about them lately they have nicer etching, laser stamping, similar to uh, like ADV Maco. Um, nicer than this, but I think Craftsman makes decent tools. Um, here's a Husky I got on sale, and uh, I'm not a fan of this finish. It looks nice when it's new. It's kind of that bluing finish, but it's not a true bluing finish because it kind of the finish chips away as you can see this one's only been used a couple times uh, doing tire rotations at home on my car it's a 21 and I'm not impressed um, the sizing is stamped in there it's not ink filled or anything or laser it's just I think stamped 21 husky these are made in China um, but that's decent I guess and then here's just a GP a gray pneumatic you can see they do that there, 21 millimeter. Um, the thing that stirred me away from gray pneumatic is there's no stamping. It's all just kind of laser etched. So when this wears off, and that eventually will wear off, if you rub it right, you won't know the exact size. Where something like this, part number stamped. There's more stampings. 
See, more stampings. I don't know why Gray Pneumatic, like how much money are they really saving going this route? Probably a lot, but to me, Gray Pneumatic really isn't that great. Um, I thought they would be great. The first set of sockets I bought from them were these, and I'm not impressed. The labeling sucks. I've only used this socket like a few times. They don't have the easy insert end, which isn't a huge deal. Um, these ends might hold up a little bit better, but... I think the durability is good on these, but I don't like the markings. Uh, this wears off too fast. Um, the guys at work that have this brand, I don't think they can even see this. Like They have to really uh, look close, because that's just poor piss poor if you ask me but let's grab this uh old uh complete set of these uh craftsman evolves and i'll show you what i'm talking about how they've held up for me in a professional setting you know under 20 dollar set clearance I'm sure today it'd probably be 100 bucks if you wanted the craftsman set but that's still cheaper than snap on so let me grab that set and we'll check take a look at it all right, guys, so here's the full set. I haven't lost any of them, I don't think. Maybe one. This isn't the original rail. It came on a cheap, piss-poor rail, some plastic junk that I got rid of a couple years ago. So I got this twist lock socket, kind of like Mechanics Time Savers, but Craftsman brand. But this is that about 10-year-old set. I got it Kmart or Sears, I forget. They were on clearance, and... They're great, man. Like, it goes up to one inch is what I got. And uh, they've held up. That one's pretty hammered. That's probably a common size. They got used a lot in the field. Um, they don't have... They got the bullet style, which is very common. You know, ten, eight, ten years ago, this is pretty common. Uh, that's what they do. The newer craftsmen, I don't think, are like that, but as you can see, they've held up. This one is pretty hammered. I could probably get this one warrantied. I think I might do that and just get the new version and, and we'll compare it because I can just walk this into Lowe's and uh, they'll they'll swap me out. That's a three-quarter, so that, yeah, that's a common size. Look at that, just hammered, and I keep my stuff oiled because... Um, my Craftsman uh, single bay toolbox at home uh, accumulates a lot of moisture, so I keep everything lubed up nice. But yeah, these sizes, you can see they haven't been used much. This is a 716th. Never been used. Not often use a 7 sixteenths and a half inch drive, so that makes sense. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to show you that. Let me know what you think about Craftsman impact sockets. Love to hear your opinion on it. And these other brands, Husky, I don't like their impact sockets. I think they're junk. I don't think they're a true impact socket. Um, these are both Husky. And then the gray pneumatic, I think they're durable, but I don't like the uh, stampings, in my opinion. So, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.